Talking with Kate Olson after a big win for the Golden Eagles. First of all, let's talk about the winning streak. 11 straight matches now for you. 21 out of your last 22 matches. What's this ride been like? It's been so fun. We, I don't know, every game that we win is just like another box checked off our list like, to get to our goal, which is going to Nationals. So. You take on a team like Gillette that you've seen before, you handle easily. How do you get up for a match like this when you know you are better than the competition? I think that's part of it is just like focusing on our goals. And if our goal is to win, so we need to just have all the energy we can to be able to... Now, on that note, one of the things that is fun about these matches, I'm sure as a starter, is you get to see the bench players get out there. And they did for that second set. Almost the entire second set was all bench players. Yeah. What? How exciting is that? And what do you love about seeing that? It's so fun. I just love that our team is so deep and that everyone can go in and play and get kills and just have fun. And it's so much fun supporting from the bench. I just love the cheering aspect of it. It's so fun. You have been slowly climbing up on your career high for assists in almost every match this year. It feels like... 46 yesterday, you end up with over 100 on the weekend as far as assists go. How has your game continued to improve? Um, just practice and hard work. I just, <laughs> just try to get as best as I can and just try to work through uh, all the little things and just see how good I can get. When you get to the end of a four match week like this and then you get a week where, okay, now we can just focus on the final two, what's different? But do you like the weeks where you have a week to practice or do you kind of just like going and playing and, and being in that mode? I love playing. I love playing. So I love the weeks where we just get to go play. It's so much fun. Talk about the, the goals for this team. You mentioned some of them, but what's the end goal for the team as far as the season and, and, and getting into the postseason? Uh, our end goal is to make it to nationals. That's uh, what we're trying to accomplish and we want to be get second in the region tournament. So, and we're trying to go undefeated in well, conference. So. Second in the region tournament, but we'd love to see that first in the region yes, tournament. We would, we would love it. First or second. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, thanks so much for the time. Congratulations on a great weekend for the team and for yourself. And, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week as, as a sophomore night and the final home match is coming up. Awesome. Thank you. Coach Shaver joining us. And Coach got the sweep over Gillette, completed four straight wins this weekend. And, and a busy week like this, when you go into one of those, what's the big goal just trying to get through a week like this where you have that many matches and so little time to prep? Yeah, and we were trying to make some old goals along the way. We had some goals of specific hitting percentages in each set today and our passing average. For the most part, we met them. I think we didn't defend as well as we should have against that team. Too many balls got through our block and not enough digs. But overall, we were fine. We got the job done and finished, the, like you said, the busy week with four wins. When you talk about the second set, you got a lot of substitutions in there. The benefits, obvious are getting them playing time, but when you actually get some in-game stuff on film with those kids that you can kind of look at a little bit deeper, how does that help you develop players? Yeah, I mean, we film practice also, so we look at that stuff pretty regularly for everybody. But yeah, a lot of times players, you know, maybe if they haven't been in as much or stressed a little bit, so we just want to go back and use it as a learning tool. Anybody that really kind of has, and speaking of kind of the growth of players this year, anybody that's really kind of taken big leaps and bounds, not even big leaps and bounds, but some, some good job jumps in their progression? I would say Eliseana Fonseca, you know, coming in, um, only having played high school volleyball and not club, you know, her experience in the game was limited. I think she's really learned how to become a better blocker and when we really need her to, to kind of turn it on a little bit more offensively. Um, I think Kate Olson lately has really learned how to run our offense effectively and she's playing better defense. So if I had to pick a most improved for the last month or so, I would say those two. Next week, you guys have some really important matches with Northwest and Central Wyoming coming into town, and also a chance to possibly go perfect on the home slate. And, and I know that's not something that you guys are necessarily worried about, but when you think about the, the impressive results that this team's been able to put up, how cool would it be to have that, that, that clean slate at home? It is actually one of our team goals, believe it or not. It's on our, our board in our locker room is undefeated at home, or is the way they call it, defend the nest. So that is something that we're working for. Um, it's a good little side goal to, to use that home court advantage in our crowd and our familiarity with the gym. So we definitely are going to be pushing. And I know on sophomore day, you know, that group's really going to be excited to play Central Wyoming. And, and we battled and got a five-set victory up there in Riverton. So I know it's going to be a fight here, too. Coach, thanks for the time. And good luck as you guys get ready for next week. Thank you.